ज्ञान कोशा वेदास ओम गणपति गुमे कवि कवीनापवचमस्तम ज्येष्ठराज ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मणस्पदानृण्मीदन सहना सहनो भुनत् सह वीर करवाहे तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमाषावे ओ शातिशा शुक्लयजुर्वेद Book twelfth. Far hath he shown abroad like gold to look on nourishment, agni, again with food and life, again preservers from distress, agni written with store of wealth, swell with thine overflowing stream, that feedeth all on every side. I brought thee, thou hast entered in, stand steadfast and immovable. Lot all the people long for thee. Let not thy kinship fall away. Varuna from the utmost bond releases. Let down the lowest and remove the midmost. So in thy holy law may we made sinless belong to Aditi. O thou Aditya, I had the mighty risen before the morning, and. Come to us with light from out the darkness," said Sharpen. Agni, with white shining splendor, hath filled at birth all human habitations. The hams are homed in light, the vasu in midair, the priest beside the altar, guest within the house, dweller in noblest place, midman in truth, in sky, born of flood. Kind truth, mountain, he is holy law, the great. Knowing all holy ordinances, Agni, be seated in the lap of this thy mother. Do not with heat or glowing flame consume her. Shine thou within her with refulgent lustre. Within this fire pan, with thy light, O Agni, in thy proper seat. Glowing with warmth, be gracious, thou, O Jatavedas, unto her. Bring propitious unto me, O Agni. Sit propitiously, having made all the regions blessed in thine own dwelling. Seat thyself. First Agni sprang to life from out of heaven. The second time from us came Jatavedas. Thirdly, the manly soul was in the water. The pious lords and kindles him eternal. Agni, we know thy three powers in three stations. We know thy forms in many a place divided. We know what name supreme thou hast in secret. We know the source from which thou hast proceeded. The manly soul lit thee in sea and waters. Man's viewer lit thee in the breast of heaven. There, as thou stoodest in the third high region, the bulls increased thee in the water's bosom. Agni roared out like Dyaus, what time he thunders, licking full of the earth round plants he flickered. At once, when born, he looked about and kindled. He shined forth between the earth and heaven, the spring of glories and support of riches. Roser of thoughts and guardian of the soma, good son of strength, a king amid the waters in forefront of the dawns he shines and kindles. 
germ of the world and sign of all creation, he sprang to life and filled the earth and heaven. Even the firm rock he cleft when passing over, when the five tribes brought sacrifice to Agni. So among mortals was immortal Agni, stabilized as cleansing, wise and eager and void. He waves the red smoke that he lifts above him, striving to reach the heaven with a radiant luster. For had he shown, he shone abroad like gold to look on, beaming imperishable life for glory. Agni by vital powers became immortal when his prolific father, Dayus, begat him. Whoso this die, and this day, O God, whose flames are lovely, makes thee a cake, O Agni, mixed with butter. Let thou and further him to higher fortune, to bliss bestowed by God, O thou most youthful. And O him, Agni, with a share of glory, at every song of praise shun forth and enrich him. Dear, let him be to Surya, dear to Agni, preeminent with son and children's children. While Agni, day by day, men pay thee worship, they win themselves all treasures worth the wishing. Allied with thee, eager and craving riches, they have disclosed the stable filled with cattle. Agni, man's gracious friend, the Soma's keeper, Vaishwanara, had been lauded by the rishis. We will invoke benignant earth and heaven. Ye deities, give us wealth with hero children. Pay service unto Agni with your fuel. Rose your guest with oil. In him present your offerings. May all the gods, O Agni, bear the upward with their earnest thought. Not to be looked on rich in light, be thou propitious unto us. Agni, go forth resplendent, thou with thine auspicious flame of fire, shining with mighty beams of light, harm not my people with thy form. Agni rode out like the use what time he thunders, licking full of the earth round plants he flickered. At once when born he looked about and kindled, he shineth forth between the earth and heaven. Far famed is this the Bharata's own Agni, he shineth like the sun with lofty splendor. He who hath vanquished Puru in the battle, the heavenly guest hath shown for us Benignity. Receive these ashes, these celestial waters, and lay them in a fair place full of fragrance. To him bow down the nobly wedded matrons, bear this son waters as her son a mother. Agni, thy home is in the floods, into the plants thou forcest way, and as their child art born anew. Thou art the offspring of the plants, thou art the offspring of the trees. The offspring thou of all that is, thou Agni, art the water's child. With ashes having reached the womb, the waters, Agni and the earth, united with the mothers, thou blazing hast seated thee again. Seated again upon thy seat, the waters, Agni and the earth, in her thou most auspicious one, Rest as in a mother's lap. Written again with nourishment, Agni, again with food and life, again preserve us from distress. <coughs> Agni, written with store of wealth, swell with thine overflowing stream that feedeth all on every side. Mark this my speech, Divine One, thou most youthful, offered to thee by him who gives most freely. One hates thee and another sings thy prizes, I thine adorer, Lord, thy form, O Agni. Be thou for us a liberal prince, giver and lord of precious things. Drive those who hate us far away to the omnific one all hail. 
again let the adityas rudras yamas and brahmanas with their right slight the wealth bringer increase thy body with presented butter effectual be the sacrifices wish go hence depart creep off in all directions both ancient visitors and recent comers yama hath given a place on earth to rest in this place for him the fathers have provided knowledge art thou accomplishment of wishes in me be the fulfillment of thy wishes thou art dashes thou the mold of agni rankers are e rankers around rankers right upward be fixed this is that agni where the longing indra took the pressed soma deep within his body winner of spoils in thousands like a cursor with prayer art thou exalted jatavedas the splendor which is thine in heaven o agni in earth o holy one in plants in waters where with thou hast o overspread mid air broad region that light is brilliant below ye man surveying O Agni, to the flood of heaven thou mountest, thou tallest hither God, the thoughts inspires, the waters, those beyond the light of Surya, and those that are beneath it, here approach thee. Many the Purusha Agnis, in accord with those that spring from flood, may they benevolent accept the sacrifice, full wholesome draughts, as holy food, Agni, to thine invoker, give wealth in cattle, lasting rich in marvels. To us be born a sun and spreading offspring. Agni, be this thy gracious will to us word. This is thine ordered place of birth, hence sprung to life, thou honest forth. Knowing this Agni, mount on high and cause our riches to increase. Rancor art thou, Angiras like sit study with that deity. Rank around art thou, Angiras like sit study with that deity. Fill up the room, supply the void, then settle study in thy place. Indra, Agni and Brihaspati have set thee down in this abode. The dappled kind who stream with milk prepare his draught of soma juice. clans in the birthplace of the gods in the three luminous realms of heaven all sacred songs have magnified indra expansive as the sea the best of warriors born on kar the lord the very lord of strength combine ye two and harmonize together dear to each other brilliant friendly minded abiding in one place for food and vigor together have i brought your minds your ordinances and your thought be thou our sovereign lord agni purusha give food and vigor to the sacrificer thou art purusha agni thou art wealthy thou art prosperous having made all the regions blessed here seat <coughs> seat thee in thine own abode be ye one minded unto us both of one thought free from deceit harm not the sacrifice harm not the pattern of the sacrifice be gracious unto us today ye knowers of all things that be